Jesus is the way. Oh, I said Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Let's lift up the praise right now. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer. I said Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. And I can say that in boldness and in confidence because he knew before you got here, before I got here, what was going to be sung. This song right here, Jesus is the answer. Two weeks ago, I just want to share, I just want to testify for just a minute. Two weeks ago, my nephew, George, was killed in a violent He was killed, murdered at Sonic, protecting his co-workers and gun violence. He went to work that day, not knowing what was going to happen, but he knew God. He knew God. And he took his co-workers and he put them, put them in to the walk-in refrigerators, coolers, as the gunman came in screaming and shouting that he was going to kill him. He's coming after George. Some of them tried to come out and he said, no, you're going to see. He told one girl, he said, no, you'll see your babies this evening. And he shut the door. And that was the last thing he did. But he knew Jesus was his answer. I didn't know what I was going to preach at his funeral on that Saturday. But God did. He told me Jesus is the answer for everyone in the room. Everyone that had questions, everyone that wondered why we live in a small town. That doesn't happen in small town USA, but it happened that day. And the whole town was there. Over 400 people that filled that room. His mom, my sister, sitting there. And I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, what can I say to this mother who just lost her son? Jesus is the answer. He's the answer for our sorrow. He's the answer for our questions. He's the answer for what this world needs right now. Everything that is happening, all the turmoil, all the confusion, students not being able to decide if they want to be a boy or a girl, the devil coming against their identity, breaking up homes. And you think it can't reach your door, but I'm telling you, what the world needs today is what we're singing about here tonight. Jesus is the answer. It's that simple. He's the answer. He has always been, and he always will be the answer. He's the great I am. He's the answer. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the answer. He's the resurrected one that's coming back. He is the answer. He is the answer. And guess what? If you know him, you have the answer. And if you have the answer, then you've been commanded, commissioned, to go out and preach the gospel, not just the pastor, but everyone in the room. You carry the answer. You carry it with you when you go to work. You carry it with you when you go to school. You carry it with you when you're in Walmart. And it's time we start operating in the gifts of the Holy Spirit and being led to share the answer with the world today. What would happen if everyone in this room tonight went out after service and was led by the Holy Spirit, not just to eat a meal, but to share the bread of life, Jesus? I'm telling you, it changed. It changed. And I, it changed me. It changed me. As a preacher of the gospel, it changed me. It changed me because I had a lady that came up to me when I was at Casey's at a, at a gas station and I'm going in there to get just a, a Coke to drink and she knew who I was and her daughter was, was diagnosed with cancer again and she was just in the state of it and most of the time we're so busy we don't even recognize but the Holy Spirit checked me and I prayed right there. Just as loud and just as bold as I'm speaking to you right now. It's time for us not to be ashamed. It's a time for us to be used. It's time for the church to rise up in the gas stations, in our schools, in the workplaces. Because Jesus is the answer for everyone in the room. And when my sister was able to come up, as they were saying, and I speak the name of Jesus, put her hand on that coffin. 
and lift up her other hand. You can't do that if you don't know Jesus is the answer. The song before that, the spirit of heaviness, you can't do that without the Holy Spirit coming alongside you and giving you the strength so that you can praise him in your deepest of deepest of deepest of valleys. Jesus is the answer. I said Jesus is the answer. The more you meet in prayer meetings, the more you have services here, and the Holy Spirit moves in your life, He is doing that to pour into you so that you can pour out into the world that you go outside these walls. Jesus is the answer. He's the answer in your homes. He's the answer with your kids. He's the answer at the workplace. He's the answer in our schools. He's the answer in your community my community. Jesus is the answer. Can we just go ahead and play that again? Can we just go ahead and play that again? Come on, I want you to just declare that and just decree that. Lord, Heavenly Father, we fix our eyes on heaven tonight. Who will ascend the mountain of God? Those with pure hands and a clean heart. Lord, we come here tonight knowing that you are the answer. Fill us fresh and new with the power and the anointing of your Holy Spirit, God. Lord, we want Jesus to be known in our world that he is the answer. Come on, let's worship him. Oh, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Yes, you are, Lord. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, I 